Here's a new tutorial presented to you all by Archer Bullseye. For those of you who don't know, he's been doing a lot of hard work for us behind the scenes of Crypto Tips, research, uh, moderating our Discord, and helping out in a lot of different ways, like producing videos like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what Archer has to say. Thanks, Heidi. Today we're going to be going over the Rabi Wallet, a software replacement of MetaMask. Focuses on security and transparency. It's currently available for Windows, Mac, as well as a browser extension for Chrome and Brave. All right, let's get into it. When adding a new address into the Rabi Wallet, you've got tons of different options. You can import it. Uh, you can connect a hardware wallet, which you know includes some of the industry standards, Ledger, Trezor, Bitbox O2, or some of the ones that we've talked about on this channel. Uh, but there's also other ones available. You can even connect other software wallets directly th to it, usually using Wallet Connect. On top of that, it does have some institutional wallets available to it. Safe and Jade are things that we will probably be talking about here on this channel in the future. So make sure you like and subscribe so that you can see more of those in future videos. Your crypto tip for the day, it's almost always better when setting up a new software wallet to generate new key phrases instead of importing old ones. That way, if there's any sort of vulnerability ever discovered in the old wallet, that does not carry over and put your funds in your current wallet at risk. One uh, last note about the Rabi wallet, that's a very nice part of it, is that it allows you to uh, automatically and easily generate different addresses all under the same account instead of having multiple accounts like MetaMask does. If you've ever sent any crypto anywhere, you know that getting the right address is very crucial. Rabi helps you by looking at that specific address that you've put in, doing a little bit of research on it, giving you information relating to it. Whether you've ever interacted with the contract before or the address before, you know, and whether, you know, how old it is, uh, how much money it has in it, all the things that are important just to help you verify that you're sending it to the right location and not to some scammer's wallet. Here's a second example. I pulled out a contract address for just a random token and when I go and look it says that this recipient address is a token contract address which is something you would just never really send to unless you were a developer or you interacted with that contract in a development sense. So in this situation, it would give you the alert. You could double check the address. Maybe you got it wrong. Maybe uh, you're sending it to a scammer. Usability and UI are one of the top things that I think separates the Rabi wallet from the MetaMask wallet. At every step in the transaction, you're able to see what coins are coming, what coins are going, the slippage. You can even go in and set your own custom gas fees. The wallet supports tons of different chains, 66 in total, uh, mostly being EVM chains. You've got Ethereum as well as all their layer twos, Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, and so much more. The Rabi Wallet is open source, which in this situation is very important because all of the funding so far has come from D-Bank, D-E-B-A-N-K, a company in China that recently had a Series A investment round that attracted the likes of Coinbase, Sequoia Capital China, Dragonfly, uh, Circle, Crypto.com, and others. They do have a decent amount of contributors for the size of the project. They've got about 25, but a majority of the commits have come from 10 or so developers. Personally, I'm excited about what Rabi Wallet brings to the space. While MetaMask is open source, there are some issues with it, so I may be switching over to Rabi full time. 
I have not yet had a chance to try it with some of my hardware wallets, but that's something that we'll get into next week. Well, if you've made it this far, here's the rest of that sunset for you. I hope you'll check out some of Heidi's videos on MetaMask and why you may not want to be using it.